the helicopter dropped two barrel bombs on Idlib late last night, and the civil defense units reacted immediately. They're witnesses as well as rescue workers. It's April the 16th, he says, and we're receiving people injured by Bashar al-Assad's chlorine gas bombs. Four boys were reportedly taken to hospital. The second bomb reportedly fell on a house. The family were evacuated, but the evidence remained. This is the barrel that contains chlorine, says the rescue worker. The smell is strong. The Syrian regime has surrendered its chemical arsenal, but not its stocks of chlorine, which it's using with fatal regularity. In fact, just as those bombs were falling, the UN Security Council was meeting in New York to discuss a similar chlorine attack last month. The video we're about to show upset the diplomats. It might upset viewers too. Three children, aged three, two and one, lost the battle for life after inhaling chlorine dropped from a helicopter on Sarmin, a village near Idlib, on March the 16th. We won't show the pain they suffered. The long arm of justice is taking more time than any of us would wish right now, uh, but uh, this documentary record will be used at some point in a court of law. Uh, and the perpetrators of these crimes need to bear that in mind. Emergency workers have grown familiar with the canisters in which chlorine is dropped, the smell of bleach, the terrible injuries. The Security Council had previously condemned the use of chlorine as a weapon, but Russia demands stronger proof of who was responsible. The evidence that was brought to me as well, which has been made available to the UN Security Council, uh, documents that these barrels were dropped at uh, at 7.45 p.m., at uh, 9.45 p.m., at 10 p.m. on the evening of the 16th of March, and they were dropped from helicopters. So as far as I'm aware, nobody else in that area possesses helicopters except the regime. So in my opinion, the regime is responsible for this atrocity. Next week marks the 100th anniversary of the first use of chemical weapons. German forces unleashed chlorine on the battlefields of World War I. It killed 4,000 soldiers, some within minutes. When you look at what's happening in Syria today, you might wonder if we've made any progress at all.